so I wanted to talk to you guys about why I chose Alexan over other Bluetooth companies like Senna and Cardo. So after doing research and reading reviews and comments, um, I found that a lot of people who own both the Lexan and the Senna or the Lexan and the Cardo or the Senna and the Cardo all mentioned that the Lexan is a lot louder than both of the other Bluetooth systems. Um, and by that, I mean louder speakers. So that's probably the first thing I was looking for in a Bluetooth system was how loud it was going to be. Because you guys know my bobber has a really loud exhaust on it, the Hacker Mayhem. And so I wanted to make sure I could hear my music. That's another thing I wanted to mention. So for me, that was the one thing I was mostly looking for in a Bluetooth system was how loud the speakers were. Uh, I know that the Senna and the Cardo offer a lot of things that the Lexan doesn't, like the number of Bluetooth syncs it can do. Um, for me personally, I don't need that. I think it was something like 30 people it can sync up with or 30 other riders. Uh, I usually ride on my own and every now and then I'll ride with another rider and so I just need my Bluetooth to sync up with one, two, maybe three riders at the most. Another reason why I chose the Lexan over the other two companies was the price. The Lexan is just far more affordable than both Senna and Cardo. All right, you guys, so here are the price comparisons for the Senna, Lexan, and Cardo. As you can see, the Senna and Cardo are basically the same price. For a dual pack of the Bluetooth system is $600, and for the single, $340. Now, the Lexan is basically half that price at $300 for their dual pack and $170 for their single. So I did purchase the dual pack from Lexan, and I also went ahead and purchased the upgraded accessory kit from them. So my total was $342.65. Um, I did use a coupon code. So what I did is I added what I wanted into my cart and I let it sit there for 24, maybe 48 hours. And Lexan sent me a coupon code. Um, a lot of companies do that. Um, it's just their way of getting you to check out and make the purchase. So if you guys want to try using that code I used, it's Lexan15. If it doesn't work for you, I would recommend adding what you want into the cart and like I said, just let it sit there for maybe 24, 48 hours and hopefully Lexan will send you a code. So those were the main reasons why I went with the Lexan. I know a lot of people use Senna and I know Cardo's kind of making its way up there too, but I felt like I wanted to take my chances with the Lexan and so far I'm not disappointed. So let's go ahead and get into the installment process of this Lexan and stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll give you guys a current review on the Bluetooth system. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install the Lexan Bluetooth system. This is the FT4 Pro. And I am going to start off with opening these bags. In this one, I have the Boomstick mic and the regular um, mic that I'm actually gonna use here. This is gonna be for the uh, full face helmets, like the one I'm gonna be installing. I'm gonna actually be doing it on the Simpson Ghost Bandit. This one right here is gonna be for more of the um, quarter face helmets. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that because I won't need that one. And these are the speakers. This here is gonna be the bracket that we are gonna actually place the Bluetooth on. This is gonna go on the outside of the helmet. They do give you a sticky to put on the helmet, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and screw mine on. This is gonna be the bracket that's gonna go on the inside of the helmet. And they give you some screws for that. Looks like they give you some extra ones. Um, I believe this is like a little filler gap, so if it doesn't fit in your helmet, this will kind of help with the spacing and a um, Allen racket or Allen wrench. Allen wrench and an Allen wrench. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be installing it on the Simpson Ghost Bannet. Step is going to be removing the padding inside of the helmet. So the Bluetooth system is gonna go on the left side. So I'm gonna remove the padding from the left side. So um, I know some helmets have Velcro, but this one has like these clips. You're gonna hear a little snap. There's another one and there's gonna be three in this side. So you're gonna wanna hear three of them. 
So now that the padding is removed, I'm going to go ahead and place the back end of the bracket that holds the system. This is going to go in between the lining of the helmet here. So I'm going to go ahead and just wiggle that in just like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and place the front end of the bracket onto the front of the helmet. It's going to line up with the back bracket and go ahead and flip that around. And you're going to want to screw that in. Okay, so now that's nice and tight and screwed on. So now I'm going to go ahead and place in the mic. I'm going to go ahead and find the perfect spot for it, and then I'll go ahead and remove the back end of the sticker. So I'm going to be placing mine right in front in between the two vents right here. I'm not too sure if I'm going to be able to get you guys in here to see that, but you'll be able to see it in the front. It's basically going to be in between these two side vents. So kind of where my mount is for my GoPro. So now that my... Uh, mic is installed. I'm going to go ahead and install these speakers. There is going to be one speaker longer than the other. So the shorter speaker is going to go on the side where the Bluetooth is, which is going to be this side. And then the other longer one is going to go wrap around the back of the helmet all the way to the right side. So the Simpson Ghost Bandit actually comes with a cutout for the speaker. So that's where I'm going to place my speaker. I don't think all helmets come with that, but I would check for it. Um, it's pretty obvious. It's here where the, you know, where ear placement is going to be and there's going to be kind of like basically a cutout here. So now that I have the first speaker, um, taped in, I'm going to go ahead and wrap the cord. Make sure that, um, you leave this side there. So now I'm going to go ahead and wrap the speaker, the longer speaker around the back of the helmet underneath the padding. Um, for me, I don't have to really remove the padding to do that, so I'm just going to kind of weave my way under. So now that I wrapped the speaker around the back end of the helmet, uh, what I did was I actually just removed the one clip here. I don't really need to remove the entire pad um, for this helmet to put the speaker in. Um, and to be honest, the clips are kind of hard to take off and put on, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it with just removing the one, and I'm going to slightly bend it to go ahead and tape this speaker in here. Alright guys, so I got the second speaker connected on the right side, and now I'm going to go ahead and plug in the mic to the speaker. So you'll see these two ends here, and they just click like that. Okay, and now it's time to put the cheek pad back into the helmet. So you want to make sure that you keep this out because this is going to plug into your system, your actual Bluetooth system. All right, you guys, so my GoPro died, but I was almost finished anyways. Um, all I did was snap back my cheek padding here on the left side. Um, again, I made sure that I left a little slack out here. Uh, this is going to go ahead and plug to the back end of the Bluetooth. Make sure that you plug this bad boy all the way in, nice and tight. And you want to go ahead and place the actual Bluetooth system. Okay, let me actually turn that. There you go. Um, from top to bottom, just like that. All right, you guys, so I've owned the Luxon for about a month, month and a half now, and I wanted to give you guys my review on the Luxon so far. So the Luxon on its own, for what I mostly wanted to use it for, works pretty well. The speakers are loud. Um, how loud? I have to lower it down, and that's saying a lot because I love my music loud, and my exhaust, again, on the bobber is really loud. So after a while, I have to turn the volume down because my ears start to hurt. So the Lexan is great for that. You know, listening to music, listening to directions, um, things like that. So when it comes to communicating with another rider using the Lexans, um, I have to say that my experience with it wasn't so great. 
we went on a weekend trip. Um, I had my husband come so that way we could use the Lexans and I can see how they perform. So the first thing is that they definitely disconnect a lot sooner than that mile that Lexan advertises. It was about three quarters of a mile in when I heard that disconnecting sound. So that kind of sucked. And when we did reconnect, I mean, basically the whole ride, all I kept hearing was the beeping sound of connecting, disconnecting, and we really weren't very far from each other. So that got pretty annoying um, rather quickly to the point to where I just wanted to disconnect from him completely because it kept interrupting my music. So the quality of the mics and the speakers are pretty good. Um, so when I did want to communicate with my husband, I did hear him pretty clearly um, and pretty loudly. So that was a plus. I do think that the Luxon would be really great for a rider who's looking to communicate with a passenger. Since you guys are going to be close the entire ride, there won't be any disconnections. They are pretty easy to unite and connect. So that's a plus as well. It does come with a Type-C charger, which is pretty cool because it's kind of like the most common newest charger, and I have plenty of those lying around. Um, also, the Siri does work when you push the button, but it doesn't work when you say, hey Siri. So that kind of blows too. So if you're looking to get a system to, you know, listen to music, answer calls, or even listen to GPS, I think this is worth it. I mean, it's a good deal, good price. Um, and if you want to connect to riders here and there, I mean, it can do that too. So overall, I'm happy with it. It works for me.